Welcome sa siplanin.com This video, tutuloy natin yung ating series on uh, calculus. No? And in this video, ang gagawin natin is generalize na natin yung napag-aralan natin sa previous video. Um, just to recall, meron tayong function f and the line l tangent to f at point p. Para makuha natin yung slope nito, we approximate the slope by creating another point q on the function and connecting pq. Then we move q towards p, both from the left and from the right. No? From the previous videos, meron niya ng animation. Anyway, meron tayo dito. No? You can, uh, yan. And, uh, pag, pag lumapit na yung uh, q sa p, na-approximate natin yung uh, slope ng line ng tangent line. Okay, so here, gusto ko na nang, uh, gusto na natin i-generalize for any function. Para kung meron man tayong any function, i-substitute na lang natin. Hindi na natin ulitin ito palagi. So, here, the slope of PQ. Uh, coordinates muna tayo ng P. Coordinates of P. Remember, para natin makuha yung slope, kailangan natin yung coordinates ng dalawang points, no? I, A, tsaka F of A. So, whatever the function. A, F of A. Yung coordinates ng P natin. At yung coordinates of Q. Coordinates of Q. I, X, F of X. So the slope, the slope of PQ is equal to, this is y sub 2 minus y sub 1, y sub 2 minus y sub 1 over x sub 2 minus x sub 1. And remember, hindi pa yan yung final. We want, we want x to be very very, very close. Very, very close to A. So, sa previous, para mas lalo natin maintindihan itong notation na ito, sa previous uh, video, ano yung A natin doon? 2, di ba? So, sa previous video, ang, ang A natin ay 2. So, meron tayong function f of x equals x squared sa previous video. And we want to find the line, or the slope of the line tangent. Ulitin lang natin yung problem, only this time, mas mabilis na. No? Find the, the slope of the line tangent to f of x equals x squared at yung p natin doon ay 2 4 no? so ito na yung ating uh, formula so m slope of pq is equal to uh, f of x minus f of x minus f of a over x minus a. Ano bang f of x natin? Ang f of x natin is x squared, no? Minus, this is our f of a. This is 4, no? Over x minus a, yung 2 natin. Okay, so, and we substituted values of x. No? Alala nyo? Values of x that are very close. Very close to 2. No? Ito yun, uh, from the previous video. So, nakita natin that from the left of 2, as the x approaches 2 from the left, no? so, ang 1.999 sa left yan, no? left ng 2. This is less than 2, di ba? Sa number line. So, nasa left siya. And then, yung mga right, 
numbers at the, to the right of 2 ito mga yun 2.01 is at 2.001 2.0001 is at the right of 2 so habang palapit siya ng palapit sa 2 from the left palapit ng palapit naman to sa 4 habang palapit ng palapit naman to sa uh, right ano, palapit ng palapit sa 2 from the right kanan din ito palapit ng palapit yung slope sa 4 kaya dito uh, napag-alaman natin from the previous video that M of PQ M of PQ PQ is equal to 4 napag nalaman mo na yung slope palalaman mo na rin yung ano ng tangent line yung equation di ba so using the slope intercept uh, the slope point form so given the slope and the point so pwede natin kunin yan no? so halimbawa uh, dito ang point natin ay 2, 4 at ang slope natin ay 4 so y minus y sub 1 equals m times quantity x minus x sub 1 y minus y sub 1 4 natin equals m which is 4 slope of uh, pq times x minus ang x sub 1 natin ay 2 so magiging y minus 4 equals 4x minus 8 y equals 4x minus 4 so ito yung pinaka equation ng tangent line natin here so ito na yung pinaka formula natin and we just want uh, x to be very very close to a from both sides pag nakuha natin na pareho yan then we can get the, the slope of the tangent line Siguro sa susunod na video, magkaroon na tayo ng isang specific example gamit itong formula na ito. No? And then, uh, another notation bago tayo talagang dumiretsyo na sa limits. No? So, I hope uh, meron kayo natutunan sa video na to. I will see you in the next tutorial.